We might need a chicken or something. I think at least a couple. Yeah. <laughs> they have rotisserie chickens. Yeah. I just reached the peak of um, our biggest climb of the day. We had about 12 miles today. We have about 4.8 left to go. We're just waiting for Trevor and Insight here at the top of this uh, peak. There's a little campsite here behind me. They're coming right up. Uh, probably we'll stop here and have a quick snack and then push on the next uh, four to five miles into Woods Hole Hostel. It is pretty cold out here. It's uh, supposed to warm up, but it was freezing last night. Uh, we stayed at uh, a hostel, and this morning when we get on trail, uh, well, it was snowing last night, uh, so the trail had a little bit of snow on it. Uh, definitely frosty. Um, hopefully the weather's going in the right direction. We keep saying that, but uh, it keeps throwing us curveballs. So we'll see about that. Anyway, not much of a view, mostly tree covered. I just met a woman. Her trail name is Mother Nature and she was hiking southbound as I'm hiking northbound and we crossed each other on the trail and we were just saying how cold it was and I asked her if she was from here from from Virginia and she said oh no she said I'm from Massachusetts she said I could have stayed home it would have been warmer which is really kind of ironic because I was just saying that this morning it is probably warmer where I'm from than it is here. Um, anyway, she is from West Boylston, Massachusetts, which is my neighboring town. And um, she is 79 years old and she has hiked the trail uh, in the past, but was really loves the trail and she just comes out now and does day hikes. And her husband, had dropped her off uh, and is picking her up. Dropped her off at one gap and is pick her, picking her up at the next gap. So she's just out for the day, enjoying the uh, trail. But <laughs> we were both quite surprised when we learned we were both from Massachusetts. And uh, we just really talked about this crazy weather here. So yeah, it's amazing. You never know who you're gonna meet or what you're gonna meet on trail. So, let's see, I'm about 2.4 miles from uh, our uh, end location for today. And uh, actually kind of anxious to get there. Like I said, it's pretty cold out here. It's windy and um, just cold. So, it'll be nice to get there and get warmed up. Again. Coming into Woods Hole Hostel here. We're done hiking for the day. It's about 12 miles. I'm gonna stay here this evening. 
hike out tomorrow. And by tomorrow we'll be in Harrisburg. So we are about uh, two and a quarter miles into our day today and we just stopped here at the Docks Knob Shelter which is right along the trail. Um, stopped to make a cup of hot chocolate um, but I wanted to show you the shelter here which is pretty bougie. Look at this. It has a chair, really nice shelter. But look at this part. Beautiful deck and picnic table. Definitely one of the nicest shelters I've seen on the trail. Now, we didn't stay here last night um, because the weather was so cold. Um, we ended up staying at Woods Hole Hostel, um, which we had uh, many people tell us that it was one of the best hostels on the trail. And uh, the only thing I will say is we did not really um, get that feeling or have that experience, um, sadly. But anyway, we have about 10 more miles to go into town today. Um, we will be in Parisburg. We're staying at Angel's Rest and we will take um, the first zero we've had in, I think, over a week now. Um, so looking forward to that. just more dead and down trees. This whole area has been nothing but trees that are destroyed. Check out this view. We are on Paris ledges. This is the view here. Look at that. Amazing. So this is Angel's Rest Hiker Haven, and we are staying here uh, tonight and tomorrow for a zero day. Um, Doc Peppa is the owner and operator, and she is phenomenal. And um, this right here is where Care Bear and Insider stand. I'm going to go this way. Um, they have a private room here. I am in the bunkhouse. Um, so far, it has been a wonderful experience. There's a place here.
Okay, so we are out here today on our slack pack of, I don't know, five and a half miles. It's just a short day. We're slacking from Angel's Rest um, Hiker Hostel. And we've been on trail for, I don't know, about four miles now, maybe, or so. And we just came from there, if you can see it. And we came down the trail here, and we were talking about going to Walmart today to get some... Um, it's, it's called Liquid IV. It's a hydration packet that you put in your water uh, that has electrolytes and whatnot. So um, we're coming down the trail here and all of a sudden we get to the trailhead and you are not going to believe what we found. Let me turn the camera around. Check this out right here. Liquid IV. Liquid IV. A, two big pouches left right there at the trailhead. Oh, and this is uh, Ricky Tiki, by the way. Hi, Ricky Tiki. Hello. Um, he's our new friend that was going to take us to Walmart, but now he's off the hook. <laughs> well, maybe not. No, nah, we'll we might go for the a, fun of it. We might need a chicken or something. I think at least a couple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have rotisserie chickens. Oh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, check that out. When they say the trail provides, the trail really does provide. So this is the trail here. And... Yeah, but it's turning really green, which is nice to see. And there are all these, I don't know if they're flocks. I don't know what kind of flowers they are, but they are lining bluebells. Blue bells? Is that what they're called? Uh, actually, no. Uh, I don't think. They're really pretty and they smell good too. We are just going along this ledge here. This ledge, and then down there is the town of Harrisburg. You can kind of see it through the trees a little bit. Here's the trail. Ricky Ticky up ahead, and in sight. And there's Care Bear. really digging the flowers that are starting to bloom along the trail and all the green buds. For a couple days we had walked through a pretty dismal forest with dead trees so it's really nice to see all the green coming out. 